So I've just gotten back from Pittsburgh, where I was helping my good friend Evan clean out and reopen a vacuum store that had been in the same place for a long time, a couple decades, and the owner had, let's say, a propensity for hoarding, which means that uh, several big, huge construction-type roll-off dumpsters had to be taken away, full of just, just junk, just crap. Uh, but there were some treasures inside including this Hoover rug and several other versions of the same kind of thing, different manufacturers, and, uh, and this, which is a new-in-the-box commercial Hoover upright, so I'm going to put it together for you. So, this would have been, like, not that difficult of a machine to unload. Like, if you ordered it and, let's say, you found it five years later, oh, shoot, you know, how did we... You, you could have sold this, so I don't know why it stayed there for so long, but kind of cool that it did. This is a Model C 1631, and this is the commercial upright with the decade-style hood, the steel-lined fan chamber, and the cloth outer bag, not the dirt cup. So this, to me, is one of the good ones. Here's our cloth bag there, allergen filtration. They have included one allergen filtration type A bag. Here's our handles. the date code in a minute. This is like 90s, 2000s, probably 2000s. And my shop in the 2000s was like Sanitaire Central. And this would have been the equivalent of like a model SC888. We just always had a couple of them. We would sell one, you know, every week or two. There would never have been one sitting there for years. Like, we didn't order a new one until we were out of old ones. So, it's always... I mean, I'm, I'm fascinated by whatever thought process led to all this stuff accumulating. Because this was a high-volume store. There's no shortage of traffic, then or now. All right, so here she is. <laughs> Let's see. Model C1631, serial number 0905. 00006752. So 2005. And this has the good old Hoover metal agitator, but no beater bars. The box is kind of sad, so I don't think I'll keep the box, but there's our manual. if I remember how to assemble one of these. This had a 50-foot grounded cord. Some of the other ones, they, they made a model with like the smaller convertible square hood. They made that in a version with the cloth bag and a version with the dirt cup. And then they made this in a version with the dirt cup. And the dirt cup ones are the ones that you usually see. And I just think they're terrible. But convenience over performance, I guess. All right, so there is a little divot in the handle where you line the cord up. I always think the, uh, the foot switch is neat on these. goes like this.
So this style, you know, the convertible style machine lived longer li in, uh, in commercial use than in residential use, where at this point, you know, you could get a self-propelled wind tunnel bagless, let's say. Well, I would have chosen this, but what do I know? But this design originated in the late 50s, and the foot switch here was first seen on the lower price convertible special model 31 from like 1958 through 60 something. And I have a 31, that's one of my favorites. So that's kind of cool. That was the first convertible to use a foot switch and then this is the last convertible style machine to use a foot switch. So 2005, I'm not sure how long they made this. Would this have been one of the last last? Or could you still get this for... Oh no, you could still get this uh, through... Um... They made, I think one of the last ones was like green, green trim. Which I find kind of hideous, but... And let's see. Alright, so we've got the small square on this side, so then this cord protector goes on the back. This string really... This being one of the commercial ones that has a single hook for the cord. They just didn't think that commercial users were going to bother to wrap the cord. And that sort of laziness is not restricted to commercial users, it's just more prevalent. I mentioned we were a sanitaire showroom that was just our even though the store started out with Hoover they moved to Eureka Sanitaire because of some kind of political thing with the owner and the Hoover rep so I started my working life assembling sanitaires and I'm <laughs> I still like them but I'm kind of all sanitaire out at this point but the Hoovers still hold some intrigue to me just because I didn't see them that often But there was one hotel, it was a, uh, I guess it doesn't matter what it was, um, Marriott Town Place or something like that, where the manager liked his commercial Hoovers with the cups. He didn't like the sanitaires, because he just was more familiar with these. So every once in a while we used to order him Hoovers. And then he'd bring in his old ones, and they were just absolutely destroyed. We never worked on them, he did that in-house, but he would, he would offload them onto us when he picked up his new ones. Alright, so this can be used as a cloth dump out bag or with the paper bag. It has the type A fill tube and it does not have the zipper. So you install this through the top, kind of like, excuse me, uh, some of the Royal Commercial Uprights had the same kind of setup. They would stick a Type B fill tube in there, but if you wanted to use the bag, you had to load it in through the top like this. This has the, uh, the anti-stretch shoelace inside the spring, which is a nice little durability feature. Okay. There we go. And this does have the rug pile indicator here. It just has a series of lines, one line to four lines to indicate 
the height. sorted out but there we are commercial Hoover brand new almost 20 years old